and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's PULA back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going over the Madden market. Now, as you guys do know, I did tell you guys that the market would start to crash pretty soon, and it is coming. It is already starting, and I think it won't stop from here. And it's kind of the point where things won't come up too much. The only way things really come up is if we have a really dead period, which could happen. But no one's going to really buy cards during the dead period anyways. So mostly when content's out, the market's going to be pretty low at this point. Now guys, before we head on into this video, make sure you go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell, boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up. Come join the noti bell gang. Comment down below if you guys have any questions about anything. And as per usual, guys, let's get into this video. So let's head over to the 98 to 99. We're going to start backwards today. I'm going to start backwards. So, as far as 98 to 99, guys, these have not moved too much. Now, these aren't going to move yet, like I told you guys. This crash, specifically, only happens at a certain point. This will only happen when 98 to 99s get dropped. So, this crash told you guys, don't don't simulate this and put this together with other cards coming down. Because these cards still is the best cornerback, best quarterback, and best quarterback in a row. And... 99, 98, 98. There's only three in the game. These will not lose value until there's more of these. Now, I guess EA is trying to, like I said, make the game longer so they're not releasing them just yet. Which is kind of dumb because at this point we can get everyone to 99 anyway. So we kind of feel like it's that point anyways. If they really want to make the game feel longer, don't allow us to get overpowered chems to get our players to 99 before the 99. And that would be the uh, the way of not... That would be the way to prolong this game because I already have 99 overall. So for me to just cash around a million coins for 98... Doesn't make much sense. I could buy Dion, kind of do the same thing. Obviously, Nitrant's a little bit better, but but still, you guys get the point. Now, these will come down as soon as I'd have to imagine that maybe like the free agency promo and or the Path to the Draw promo will release 99s or at least 98s, which should bring Nitrant Lane down quite significantly. And Lamar Jackson told you the only way he comes down is with the Redux. So hopefully, next series update, like the 20th, the 20th to like the 27th of March, sort of like the third or fourth week of March, probably what I'm predicting. At the earliest and the latest, going to be the first week of April. Hopefully earlier than that, because I would like another series update. Now, heading on over to the 96-97s. Now, this is what we're going to look through. So, as far as the combine players, they are crashing quite significantly. Now, I guess people just really don't like them, and part the, as, as well as Deion Sanders is going down in value, which kind of sucks. Didn't think he'd get this cheap, which in this case, if he's this cheap, it might make more sense for me to put my power pass back on him and just buy Deion Sanders straight up. As you guys see, he's 390. Which is super cheap, guys. If you if you want Deion Sanders, make sure you go ahead and buy him at this price. Like, I mean, he might even go down more. But again, you could also do like I said, the set's more worth it for me. Get a Mark Cooper, get them to award guy one more. Go do the set. You can complete it right now. It's about like I'd say six hundred, like ninety k, which is not a bad value, especially if you sell the Deion Sanders, and then you could always get the coins off that and then buy him anyways. Or if you don't want those players, just buy Deion straight up. But in my opinion, things are super super cheap. John Ross kind of expensive, which I find kind of stupid. Guys, this card's ass. Like, for a 99 speed, all he has is 99 speed. But guess what? Let's compare him to, let's compare him to my, I didn't want to compare him to, okay, I'll compare him to Tyreek. Tyreek also has 99 speed. Tyreek can jump better, can catch traffic better, better route running, better medium route running, same deep route running. With cams and everything, Tyreek ends up better. Because the one that he does have 99 on, which is the uh, deep route running, Tyreek gets that with just one upgrade. Let's compare him to Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson also gets 99 speed with a uh, sprinter and John Madden uh, athleticism. And with go deep, he ends up also at a 98 deep route running. So the only thing that he has on him would be the speed and deep route running, which is now about tied. And then you kill him everywhere else, any 6 foot 5. I really don't know what EA was thinking with this card. I at least get a, make, make, drop him with the power up, make him somewhat useful. But no, the way they made this card, it's ass. You can't do anything with it. He is no better than any other card in the game. And actually, he's worse than most new receivers in the game because of Kemp's abilities. And then with John Ross is that if you come up and power up, you can't even make him faster. So you're going to have to make his other stats better, which if you're working for the other stats, you might as well just get a receiver that can already get those stats like Calvin Johnson. And then obviously the lower cards, are, uh, the new card that should be coming out today or did come out today would have been the Alvin Kamara, which we could have gotten already through the Deion Sanders set like I have. But for most people, you can't get him yet. So in that case, you should be seeing him on the block soon today. And for the combine cards, they're crashing. They could, with uh, Kamara coming out, they could come down even more possibly. So if you want to wait, you can. That's crazy. I never thought Deion Sanders would come down so close to like, he'll probably be like 350. The lowest Deion Sanders will go. He's not going to go much lower than that. Deion's at a pretty low price as it is. I think 350, 340 will be the lowest he goes. Like I said, not much lower than that. That'll be way too low for my liking. That'll be way too low for the market in general. I really don't see that happening. Now, coming over to the theme diamonds or, well, theme builders twos. I keep calling them the wrong thing. 
Now these cards, I want to see these cards because these cards haven't really gone down too much. Like yes, they're cheap. They're definitely cheap, but they haven't come down too much. But that's probably because they started at their lowest value and now they're working their way up to like equilibrium, just meaning in the middle somewhere. Now what I'm concerned about here is Saquon from the top cards. Now Saquon's still pretty expensive, which in this case it might make more sense to just buy Dion as he gets cheaper than just use my power pass and Saquon. As you guys can see, the best theme, dime, uh, theme builder cards are still the most expensive, which are going to be TJ Watt, some of the linemen, Fred Warner, and Saquon. Makes sense. Obviously, all the best ones, literally. Linemen, Barkley, TJ Watt, Fred Warner, Jarvis, your ass. I don't know why you're here. What do you got? 92 speed, yeah. But at the end of the day, I, I, with these cards being so expensive, I'd end up probably using my power pass on some of these for the ones I need to. Now, the only reason these cards are truthfully held up is because it takes a set to create them. So when there's a set to create a card, it usually holds up value based on their lower pieces. So pretty much once the market crashes more on lower pieces, and when that happens, these cards, those pieces will come down, which means that the set will overall come down and everything will come down. But until that happens, Saquon's going to remain slightly at a higher cost as well because he's also better on top of that. But moving on to the Ultimate Legend cards. Now, I always look down there for them for some reason. The Ultimate Legends are looking pretty cheap. 230 k for... Troy Palomalu, probably one of the greatest defensive players I've ever played with. People are really undervaluing him. I highly recommend you get him. Probably because a lot of people have Pat Tillman upgraded, so they don't think they should waste their money, which is true. But it's Troy Palomalu. He plays amazing. Plays better than Pat Tillman will ever at this point in the game because Pat Tillman's upgrade was not insane. Kellen Winslow, brand new tight end. He's good. But I'm no way for a Tony Gonzalez or another George Kittle. Brian Dawkins, I just substitute that with, Troy, uh, with Sean Taylor. And then some of the newer ones, like Eric Dickerson, is going to hold value because he is one of the best running backs in Madden. Now, the newer guys, like Ray Lewis, actually, he's holding value, which is weird. Ray Lewis and Ken Houston should not be holding this much value, but I guess it's because people, I mean, people really didn't open packs this week. People really haven't been playing the game this week. So I guess if you put that all together, it comes down to a lot of people aren't really getting them. He is an LTD, of course, but usually LTDs that aren't that. I mean, he is, a, he is really good, but he's not as good. But I guess when you're an LTD and you're kind of similar to the other best cards, you can hold value. Now, Ray Lewis... He should come down. Ray Lewis is great, but he has no zone coverage. And he's honestly not that fast. Like, 91 speed is decently fast, but Shazier has 91 speed. So, Devin Bush has 91 speed. I feel like if you're going to make a new Ultimate Legend card that I'm going to want, you should have at least 93 speed, which would make it a lot better. So, in the in case of Ray Lewis, I might end up holding and holding out and waiting on him. If he gets cheap, maybe I'll pick him up. And if not, I might just end up waiting for another middle linebacker card because it's a lot of money to pay. For a guy who's slower than most cars out in the field now. And like you're, you're like buying an old speed at this point. That's kind of what it looks like. Which I don't know if that's worth it to me. Or worth it in general. And then for the rest of the market guys. Obviously. It is what it is at this point. Lower cards aren't going to be like they used to. Where they were directly affected. Because lower cards have less correlation with them at this point. In my opinion though. What will change lower cards at this point in the year. Is going to be lower overall card set pieces. Like if they drop a new promo. Like for agency promo. And you need the older cards. Like 88s and 85s to put them in. They'll come up. Right now, they're up a little bit because you can use them. But in general, they only get moved by promo. So we have to see if there's a promo that needs them. They'll go up. If the next promo doesn't need them, they'll start skyrocketing down. Team of the Year's have remained awkwardly steady throughout all of this. I don't know. They haven't really moved too much for the most part. Now, some of them came down for a while. Then some of them came back up. Like George Kittle was at one point like 215. Zach Martin was 220. Jamal Adams was cheap. Aaron Donald at one point was about two like eighty. This is a super cheap price. I mean, super expensive price for Aaron Donald at this point. I don't know. I guess it's just like no one's really pulling them anymore. Now people are putting them up. Kind of like a combination of like an older promo at this point. But they're also considered high overall, so they can't go down just yet. What we do need is a new promo with ninety eight. Well, guys, this is the issue. Why all these old promos are like why are they not coming down? Because they're not. They're still high overalls. 96, 97s. Once they release ninety eight overalls into the game consistently, the ninety six market will die. 97 market will crash. That's probably what we're waiting for, guys. But that's about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to down below. Hit that subscribe button. Come join the family, boys. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy today's video. Comment down below if you guys need any help with anything. Always remember I'm over on Twitter to answer questions you guys may have. Guys, we might be in permanent Madden Limbo at this point. It is what it is. Still come every day. Still come show support. I'll try to get some series out there, some gameplays and stuff to keep you guys entertained. And we'll grind our way through all the way to Madden 21. And hopefully... We can have our boom and our year that at that period of time, guys. But until then, keep coming out every day and showing support. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.